So this mission is at Neptune, that massive marine distribution center. These primal dragons show up in the most wild places. Marine. What's the matter? Nothing. I just don't have fond memories associated with water. Is that so? It's really pouring. We may be able to take advantage of the rain here and the final dragon undetected. Oh, I'm slipping with finish though. Even a pro swimmer wouldn't be able to survive in these waters. All right, go. Seems like the tanks floating around here are filled with flammable liquid. I don't think our attacks will damage them, but enemy explosives are a different story. We're in big trouble if we destroy our footholds out in the open sea like this. The waves are getting even rougher. I'm starting to feel sick. You're always sick all over the place. That has nothing to do with seasickness. Fair enough. Yeah, if you want, I can use my Azure Striper on your inner ear to relieve some of that for you. Uh... You know, GB, I heard that you pee with water. I used to. Ever since my Primal Dragon transformation, I've been able to activate my Septima underwater. Oh, so that's why you hated it. I thought maybe you were just a bad swimmer or something. I'm a trip. Damn, more patrol planes are showing up. That's one of Sumaragi's newest sea pools, right? Looks like it's already out of control. I'm sorry. Hey, how many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to apologize just because you are one factor in the problem. Not everything is your fault, you know. Right now, the world is in danger, and we have a better chance than anyone of doing something about it. We have no time to waste worrying about things and having pity parties for ourselves. Let's go! Gunboat! Hidden 90 second right! Divine Ruin Heresy! Our teamwork has gotten way better. <laughs> My adaptability is sick. We should be able to use that receipt. We just need to jump before we get thrown off. You should still watch your step. If you slip and sprain your ankle, you're in big trouble. You don't need to worry about me. Still, I'll be careful. I'm totally drenched here. Also, make sure you don't catch a cold. Yeah, yeah, I'll be careful. Dad bolt. Still got it. It was really something else. The first step storm is able to make it this far without our target noticing. You drenched from head to toe. Let's get this over with so I can dry off. Oh, I know. Hey, GB, think your Azure Striker could dry me off real quick? Is there really any way to treat someone? Anyway, I can tell this warehouse is huge from the inside. It's still has not been in our spaces in here. Sumaragi must have spent tons of money putting this fully automated distribution center together. Do you do much online shopping, Kitty? Um, I hate to admit it, but... Yeah, quite a bit. Shadow Yakumo is in the middle of nowhere, so it's basically like my lifeline. People shop online all the time without thinking much of it. There really is a lot of amazing technology behind it. Sumaragi has this image of being a big, evil corporation, but it's hard to deny that this side of the company supports people's lives. Yes, that oh, finally got all the way out. It looks like the Primal Dragon's just ahead.
Hey! Only authorized personnel are allowed here. What's your name and who's your supervisor? I'm Kirin, battle priestess for Shadow Yakumo, on loan to Sumaragi's Dragon Saviors. I heard there was someone out of control here. As for the authorization, I'll get that later. Sumiragi? I wasn't informed of this! Have you no respect for proper business etiquette? Paperwork must be submitted months in advance before any outsiders can be allowed entry. Looks like it's now my job to beat some business sense into you. Will your eyes be able to keep up? If you can't submit paperwork in triplicate, you can't be trusted in proper society before submission. Inform the recipient by email, and then confirm the timeline by phone. That's the most basic of basics! Commit it to heart! I'm over here! I'll bury you! Hate to break it to you, but we're a hands-on, in the field sort of company. So I couldn't care less about any of that. I can live without that entry level. Five years of experience needed stuff. You really don't need a family-like atmosphere either. I don't think that has anything to do with business etiquette. Can't believe this. Pulsif, you forcing your subordinates to work unpaid overtime? To think the world-famous Sumidaki was fostering such a toxic work environment! A proper work-life balance leads to increased efficiency and a happy workforce! Beyond saving! I always thought our work environment was pretty good. They even provide room and board. Room and board? Your employees work around the clock? Adding fuel to the fire, kidding. With managers like you, who needs competitors? See, there's no reasoning with you. I'm putting you on a performance improvement plan! Putting aside moral judgment... My last resort! Adam Smasher! Comments for a moment? Society yeah. takes all kinds, you know? Having You're some tough. amount of flexibility uh, makes all the difference. I'll crush you! You're such a stickler for the rules. My radiant fetters will shake up your world. Your state is sealed. This is the end! Give it a button, that yeah. up. Damn it. I'm appalled at how much trouble I caused the innocent people of the city. I, Apollo, sincerely apologize for my actions. To repay you for saving me, I wish to dedicate myself to assisting the Dragon Saviors. Sure, no problem. Kidding? Oh, with fresh face? <sighs> Come on. It's another. Apollo, how about we put you in charge of keeping an eye on the personnel? HR seems like a good fit for you. Good idea, Keating. 
You'd have a tough time keeping track of all the new staff by yourself. Very well. In that case, I'd like to fast track some attitude adjustments for the cheeky one. Any objections? You, you talking about me? <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a hard worker. <sighs> Apollo, seeing the way you fight made me want to create a new move of my own. You have a keen eye, Battle Priestess. What sort of ability have you been practicing? If I press attack as I reload by pressing down twice quickly, I'll turn invisible and dash, getting myself closer to enemies in an instant. I see. And this came from watching me? Um, yeah, that's right. Maybe it's not my place to ask, but aren't you playing things a bit loose? N no way! I think everything through! Check it out! They were just giving him out in another department, so I brought back a model tank! Again? Didn't you already get one of those and give up on bringing it halfway through? Oh yeah, I guess I did. But Apollo ended up building it. We got it set up right over there. There was a shiny gold plastic model on display in the spot BB pointed to. It looks totally different from the last time I saw it. I thought that tank was supposed to be green. There's no art in simply assembling a model. I always put my own spin on them. That one is part of a refresh of the Mantis line of tanks, the Mantis Delta line. It was planned, but never made it to prototype. It has a mirror finish to improve its resistance to beam weapons. Quite a quality piece if I do say so myself. Hmm, I didn't have you pegged as a model guy. Anywho, here's what I got for you this time. Ah, Spider. It seems to be a prototype from the 10th generation that never made it to production. Quite a niche model you have here. The 10th generation. Ah, oh, that takes me back. I fought one of those as well. Is that so? I didn't know it was ever deployed in the field. I expected nothing less from you, Gunvolt. You're a living legend. <laughs> yeah, Gramps. Gramp Volt. Please stop that. <laughs>